These are mean streets. This section of Los Angeles is home for drug pushers, teenage gangs, thieves, and killers. It's also where Richard Chavez grew up and works. Richard is a top-notch private investigator. He achieved this distinction against the most incredible odds. Richard doesn't fit the image of the hard-boiled private eye. For one, he doesn't carry a gun. But what really sets him apart is the fact that he's only four feet eight inches tall, walks on crutches, and at night sleeps in an iron lung. Richard had polio at the age of five and lost the use of one lung due to a bout with pneumonia. Determination and courage paid off, though. Today, Richard is head of a million-dollar-a-year vocational school for both disabled and able-bodied people. While Richard talks to students mainly to motivate them, he gives detective lessons as well. Because I've met the finest of people, truly. I've always measured people by the amount of courage that they've had. The role of an investigator is an evidence gatherer. And we will play many roles in society. Some will go into undercover positions, but many of you will go into corporate crime, or what's better known as corporate espionage. Richard seldom goes to his office. Because he's always on the move, his real office is in his car, one that's specially equipped with a handbrake like this. Much of his success as a detective is the result of having the right contacts. Let's watch him operate. The victim was a teenager, shot when he tried to prevent a robbery in a store. A lead gained here brought Richard to the home of one of the customers who'd been in the store at the time. The woman had been afraid to talk to the police before. A description of one of the hold-up men gotten from the woman brings about the next move. A stakeout. And this is the hard part. Waiting. Sometimes all for nothing. This time, there's a payoff. That's one of the suspects. Richard is hopeful that he will lead him to the trigger man. Richard's handicap, oddly enough, is more often a help in his detective work than a hindrance. Nobody in the world would suspect he's a private eye or be afraid to talk to him. He is conspicuous, yet totally inconspicuous in his relationship to his occupation. This case is far from closed, and Richard is far from through. 